let my hair, I'm so pissed off. Simply take a knife or a scissor, and you rip it right off. I did it, it was so fast. This should be a crime. Oh my God. The rice inside, my scalp is itchy. <laughs> We did glueless. How do you say it? Glueless sewing. Glueless sewing. That's what we did. Yeah, because I gotta be learning all the terminology. Ooh. Mm -hmm. This is a natural hair color, y'all. This is a natural color. Yeah, we this went back to the good gas up. Oh, this is too good. Good. I feel like it's just so wrong to go and then take this and go sit outside and watch soccer. Uh, <laughs> it's just, it, it should be a crime. Be in the sun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It should be a crime. Soccer moms need to see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, that's true though. That's true. They're gonna love it. They're gonna love it. <laughs> unveil me. Unveil me. Ooh. Unveil. This is the black. Oh my gosh. No. Yes. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Like I didn't have the camera correct. It was all upside down. This is just too good. Yo, can we talk about how much of a bombshell your girl looking like? Talk to me nice, or don't talk to me at all. Literally, nobody should talk to me, hello? We always go through this, and I just wanna remind you, you're watching this video, but you really shouldn't even be talking to me. Matter of fact, you shouldn't even be looking at me. <laughs> That's how bomb it is. I can't even see well. <laughs> Yo, I love my hair. I freaking love my hair. Can we talk about it? Can we talk about it? I have not had a sewing in ages. I don't do sewings, you understand? I thought we were doing a quick weave and I was just busy doing stuff while she was doing my hair and then after a while I was like, wait a minute, you're doing a sewing. I didn't even realize. I like it. I'm, I'm fine with it. I don't care. It's fine. It's great. And it's not tight. Last time I had a sewing, it was mad tight. It's not tight. Praise God. It feels secure, but it's not tight. So she used the band to secure the closure and then she sewed the hair. You may get a visual of that, you may not, I don't know, but that's what she did and I love my hair. She already had dyed the tracks. Some of them were dark brown, what, four? I don't even know. And then some of them are like a caramel. I don't know, I don't know what colors she used. It looks so great, I love it. Oh wait, my beat messed up. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I freaking love my hair, I'm so pissed off. Tomorrow I'm shooting again, so I'm excited. excited. I can't even talk, I'm so tongue-tied. Tomorrow I'm shooting again, I'm so excited about that. Hey, that's the accent is coming out. What is it? The accent is coming, it's coming, no. Hey, it's coming. Mm, 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 mm. Anyway, I love my hair. I just had to show you. You already know how I feel. And I've been really enjoying that y'all like it too. <laughs> you fall saying? Oh, I gotta just show you the movement now. Is it gonna look like this tomorrow? We don't know, the jury is still out. So I really hope that it does. I believe this is 22 inches she said. She said, hey, she said it's 22 inches, okay? So anyway, I just left the post office. I don't come here. Why is it that the grannies at the post office be so upset? They be so mad. Ma'am, you are retirement age. You've actually you've actually surpassed retirement age. Do you have to be here? Because you're you're making me nervous. You are scary. And I need you to fulfill this service for me so I can't even clap back at you. And you're old. You're old and you're angry. I want you to stop. So I'm over here being nice and and then this one lady, oh the lady too, her companion. Okay? And she just was asking because she's helping me. So there was a guy rummaging around and she goes, can, excuse me, can he help me? And the lady helping me was like, 
no he cannot he's busy can't you see him working he's working i was like she's just wondering because when she walked in y'all didn't even say hi to her at least say hello hi with you in a second acknowledge her existence no she wouldn't do it so the lady asked and so the lady goes okay i'm just asking a question and then the lady helped me didn't say anything i thought wow the old folks are, are arguing this is the problem where is the customer service is it okay Oh, you don't want to give customer service. Okay, this place mm, is dangerous. So I already mailed that out. And then I was saw a sign about early voting. And I remember that I had gotten a letter in the mail about early voting. So I asked her, uh, can I do early voting here? And she said, oh, the church over here does it. They might still do it. So I got in a car and I Googled early voting. How about I'm near two places? And then it tells you the wait time of the places. Praise God. So I'm going to choose the place that's close to me, close to where I am right now. The line, it tells you the line count is 15 and the wait time time is 0 to 14 minutes yo go vote early there's no well if you if you are off obviously because if you're not off you can't do it and by the time you see this it might already be election day I don't know okay I'm gonna go ver early uh, hey ver early mm, I'm gonna go ver early <laughs> you know I have accents ah the accents always you know it's always doing something mm? I knew you I knew you man no go fast up on the dance floor man no go fast touch me I touch you man no go fast I man no go fast I ah my god I see is it the hair or not? I think it's the hair. <laughs> I think it's the hair. I mean, let's call it what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to go do that. You feel me? Because uh, four, 0 to 14 minutes, praise God. We're going to go ahead and put that ballot in. You feel me? We're going to go ahead and put that put that nomination. Not nomination. Wow. Go ahead and go put that vote in. You feel me? Go ahead and do your civic duty. You feel me? If you got a permanent residence vote, I don't even know. If you are a United States citizen, go ahead and do what you are allowed to do. Unless you're a convicted felon. A convicted felon, right? Felons can't vote, right? I don't even know. I can't. Okay, hi. Wow. Seatbelt. Yoke me up. Hello. <laughs> you going to just yoke me that way? That's how you going to do it? All right. Let's go ahead and vote. Praise the Lord. I can't take y'all in with me, but you should already know how to vote, okay? You should know how to do it, okay? Go to the machine. The machine be mad old. The machine be mad old, mad outdated. It be like plastic, you feel me? And then, you know, you just do a little press, press. Yo, they, when they be asking about the districts and all that stuff, I haven't done any research on that. That's terrible. So I just go down the line once and I don't know what the person is standing for. I just choose the, the party and then whoever falls in, falls in. That's actually not a good thing to be doing. We should be doing our... What is this? A baby kitten? Did you see that? A baby kitten was just hopping and scooting on the side of the road. Where did it go? Yo, you should have seen it. The baby kitten was like, like galloping. What? Whose kitten is that? You know, I don't like cats. Somebody didn't like that last time when the cat was in my, my, my patio and I wanted to abolish it. Someone didn't like that. Hey, listen, everybody should do what they want to do. I did that. Everyone should do what they want to do. I don't do that. You know, I used to have a dog. Her name was Koi, C-O-Y, and she was in fact shy. Wow, that rhymes. You can't even tell me a girl don't have bars. You feel me? Yeah, she was in fact shy. She was real cute. You know what I'm saying? And she's no longer around. <laughs> okay, praise the Lord. Koi's, praise, hi Koi. So, kittens, no. Now, that little thing, I thought it was fake. The way it was running and jogging, it was jogging down the street. I thought that that, I'm yelling, am I yelling? Hi. I thought that that kitten was fake. The way it was jogging like a toy. It was real. And then it, it disappeared into the bushes. So now I don't know where it is. Anyway, just wanted to let you know about the kitten. In case y'all want to go rescue kittens. Like, are y'all outside rescuing kittens? If you are, then that's fine. Just, you know, let's agree to disagree. Like, I can't do kittens. Like, just, like, yo, cats are scary. <laughs> you might even see humans are scary. Hey, listen, cats are scary. So, and then there's you all sharp. And I'm allergic. So, you gotta just, everybody should do what they want to do. Like I said, everyone should walk in their own lane. That's my lane. My lane is I'm allergic. One. Two, they're scary. Three, we think that they're evil in Ghana. Four, their nails are sharp. So... You know, you can't force me. You can't force me to do something I don't want to do. If I don't want to do it, I'm not going to do it. And I don't want to do it, so I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go do my civic duty. All done. I did it. It was so fast. That was so quick. Maybe 10 minutes total because the line outside was moving quickly. It was very short. And when I went in, I'm trying my best to make sure I pay attention. Those ballot what what do you call them the little stick stations they look a lot different than they were years ago so you put your code in and then you get a paper and you put it in like you're putting paper in a printer and then you vote then when you finish voting you press finish it'll print all your votes and then you print the paper out then you take the paper to a different table and that is where you put your paper into a different machine think of it as another copier or something like that you put it in that machine once it's in you're done 
So I don't remember having to do that whole take the paper here and then put it in the machine years ago. I don't recall that. I remember it all being done in one area, but it's all good. Either way, I am glad that it's done and I voted. Make sure you vote. And if you're seeing this afterward, hopefully you voted. And remember how I said I don't I didn't look at all the court nominees and judges and police officers and whatever. So when I asked the lady, can I skip this? She said yes. So at the bottom right, you can skip when you don't know what you want to do. Because just put in one party just because the party no, because sometimes the people in the party ain't what you want in that party. You feel what I'm saying? So at least I voted for the presidential nominee. <laughs> and I saw two names that I haven't even heard of. The lib again, lib hi, the lib hey, liberals, mm, and I'm like independent. I don't even know. I was like, we've never heard of these people. Why didn't they talk, talk us about them? I don't know who they are. So yeah, anyway, go to your diligence. Go do your du du a. Go to your civic duty, diligence, the whole thing. I'm sweating, by the way. My light, not light bulb, not light bulb. I already had light bulb. Yes. Update on my armpit situation. What is it called? What did I get? Botox. I'm still sweating. I know it takes a few weeks. So how long is that? Good thing I don't have a BO. Gotta check. I don't have a BO. <laughs> but I, I'm sweating. I, you know, I will say, I will say, it's not as much. It's not as much. You feel me? So is this supposed to go away entirely? Or is this supposed to go away a little bit? I don't know. We'll see, the jury's still out. But if you've ever done armpit lipo, come in and let me know. Did it really go away though? Rhyming like again. this. Bars. She be the hottest in town. Coming out the twilight lit. Yeah. Let him know who got the crown. Girl who does it like you do. Always keep it hondo when you move. You don't really want it with her crew. Yeah. Don't need that drama. She calling your mama. Ooh. Who that on the move? We rolling with the baddest. We can't lose. Party till the morning, how we do Just had to feel on your body, girl, you so addicted She got that tsunami When you there with me, can't be still Don't you hurt nobody You be alone if looks can't kill Hey, for danse, for bouger Girl, you got the whole town screaming Hey, for danse, for bouger Girl, you got the whole town screaming Hey, for danse, for bouger me girl we on the dance floor we vibing we in so deep like we mobbing you got my temperature rising no one like you boo always keep it hondo when you move they don't really want it with our crew don't need that drama she calling your mama Ooh, put out on the move we rolling with the baddest we can't lose party till the morning how we do just had to feel on your body, girl, you so addicted She got that tsunami When you there with me, can't be still Don't you hurt nobody You be alone if looks can't kill Hey, for don't say, for bougie Girl, you got the whole town screaming Hey, for don't say, for bougie Girl, you got the whole town screaming Hey, for don't say, for bougie Don't say Baby, keep your focus, don't you make me change my mind Yeah, 
if you love me, baby. I got the music going. Lois will be here very soon for the photo shoot. How did my hair come out? Shooting again today. The goal is twice a month, so today's another day. I have a new hairstyle, which I'm excited about, as you see. Hmm, if these curls fall, we're going to just go ahead and cut her up again, okay? Praise the Lord. Ooh, this sun is acting up. You know how it be over here. So yeah, that's what's going on right now. Love the hair. Love, love, love. Got it going long down. Didn't want it to be out and big. I just wanted it straight down. Let me get some lotion because can't have dry skin in a photo shoot, okay? <laughs> and you know, everything is everywhere. What's new? <laughs> that's that's not, the, let me not say that. That is not my baseline. In this room, however, yes, it is because this is where I got all my clothes that I need to wear and there's a lot. I turn my AC down because, you know, it'd be mad hot. Like, what the heck? All this changing. It's a lot of activity in here. So I put the AC way down so that it can be freezing in here so that I'm not sweating because sweating in a photo shoot is just dumb. Ooh, I'm not here to suffer, you know? So I have my Naturium Glow Getter situation because it needs a nice oil on the skin. Need the oil, you feel me? A whole entire must. dark in my room and I don't feel like turning on too many lights it's nighttime you know how nighttime you just want to have a mood that's what I'm going for right now and I weighed myself this morning you know you can see my transformation and if you haven't already make sure you watch my video where I talked about my one and a half year post-op update in addition to me taking some glutide and updating you on all that has to do with that. And I weigh myself every now and then. I never used to weigh myself often because the scale just didn't say what I wanted to say. And I've always been a thick woman. So looking at the scale was very discouraging. It just doesn't tell the whole story. You understand, I am an African woman, West African Ghanaian woman. Yes, yeah. So that scale be acting up. So I just don't be looking at it. But I like to see what's going on because I can see a tremendous and feel a tremendous change in my body. My clothes don't fit like they used to. I just know, right? So every now and then I will with myself just to get a gauge on what the heck is going on. And to give you an idea, I gained 50 pounds while pregnant nine years ago. Uh -huh. My, my, my. I mean, I was hungry, okay? I didn't hear, I didn't hear anybody I had to say. And I wasn't working out. At that time, I wasn't a workout person. No, no, no. Why? You know? So that was that, okay? Let's see. I've always hovered around 190s. And it just was what it was. And it's so strange to look at pictures of me in 190 something because I'm like, what? Because I'm so used to seeing myself like I am now that I'm just like, wow, I was huge. But when I was that weight, I knew that I wasn't comfortable. I knew that I wanted to go down. I was still dressed. I would still show up, you feel me? And it was what it was. I was working with what I had, you see? I'm gonna still work with what I have. But of course, that's all I saw. So I was used to seeing myself like that. And I know that I've always been, my scalp is a little itchy. I know that I've always just been a thick woman. But now looking, I'm like, wow, there's a huge difference. There's a stark, stark difference. It is what it is. I mean, I got to a point where I just realized that I needed to love myself where I was 
dress and still dress and not wait for the time that I lose weight, lose weight, lost weight. So I just started dressing. And of course, that's when I was taking my creator career more seriously. And I was doing photo shoots and I was like, I'm going to dress. I'm not going to hide. I'm going to live my life. And I was doing just that. So I've always hovered in the 190s. Every now and then I might get to 185, but ugh, you know, that was, I, I, you know, that was like, I don't know. I don't even know how I even got to those places. And I was just like, ugh. okay. So years go by, I watch my whole playlist on my surgery, what I got when and how it all went. I documented everything. So it's all there in great detail. Excuse me. Fresh sew-in. Scalp is a little itchy. So I did some glutide and I'm still on it. And I weighed myself, like I said, this morning actually guess what i saw on the scale no this is i should have been said this excuse me i don't normally talk about my weight i actually never talk about weight so i didn't think to do this beforehand so i'm thinking about it now i'm sure it's too late if it did already trigger you but if this is triggering please fast forward but sorry i didn't think about that because i normally like i said don't discuss this i don't discuss my weight because i don't weigh myself often okay very sorry here i am okay <clears throat> so i weighed myself this morning and i am 163.8 i don't remember the last time i saw 160 any i mean i might have been in high school like excuse me now when i had my surgery i believe i was in the 180s i believe and so i can say at least I've lost 20 pounds. I don't remember if I was in the 190s. I had to look. I had to look at my paperwork to see what weight they put down because I don't remember. But even that, I I wasn't told that I had to lose weight to do the surgery. So I just was what I, I was. What I was 163.8. So let's just say 164. You know, just just round it up. That is wild. I am so surprised. I'm very pleased. I'm happy. I mean, it is just, a, I just feel light. I feel better. I don't want to be carrying extra weight that I don't need to carry. You feel what I'm saying? Being thick is, is cool and stuff, but I don't need to be so out of damn breath. You feel me? And I want to live long and I like seeing my muscles. I like seeing the tone in my arms, in my stomach, in my legs, my thighs, my thighs. My lower body carries a lot of weight. If you're like me, you know what I mean. My lower body is where the thickness is. Is, okay and I love that for me okay it's authentic homegrown but there's no need for it to be obscenely big you feel me because then we're unhealthy and even now at 164 my BMI is still high but I know I look great I'm not I'm not chasing a BMI I'm chasing being toned and healthy because I'm sure like you I have a lot of sicknesses in my family that I'm, I'm working very diligently to avoid so it's all about that it's about avoiding sicknesses living long feeling great looking sexy just being and living my best entire life. That is really what it's all about. I wanna be and live my best entire life. Not a mediocre version, not a semi, mm -mm, the whole thing. I want the whole entire thing. And looking and feeling my best is the first step. So there's that, I'm just, I'm so happy, I was shocked. When I stand on the scale, which is again, is not often, but when I stand on it, I, I take my time to look down because I don't wanna be like, <sighs> Because a lot of times people, I mean, when I was in my 190s, you would have never guessed that I was 190. I'm very pleased to see that. I am excited. It's motivating. It's not that I'm looking to go to a certain number. It's simply that I'm looking to continue to tone my body, lessen the body fat, increase the muscle, continue working out. I want to see myself ripped. And then I'll know that I'm, I've gotten to where I want to be. You feel me? And then, of course, it's about maintenance. But that's what it is. It's not about a number because when I was in my 180s and 190s, you would never know. It ain't about the number. I want to know. I, I'll know when I see it. You feel what I'm saying? I can see, now I can see my thigh muscles and I, oh, that's what I'm saying. Uh, being heavy on the bottom of my body, I have a lot of cellulite and though it's normal, I don't want it. Uh, and I also have poor leg circulation. I want to get, I'm going to get my veins treated. How do you say it? Varicose veins. Yeah, I have varicose veins in my legs. Like, what the hell? That started coming maybe a few years ago. And I was like, what is all this? Poor leg circulation. Mm -hmm. So I also have that. You see what I'm saying? So it was little stuff like that that tells me, hey, if you don't get into a line, this can turn to something else. Oh, yes, yeah. And I'm not trying to have that. Hell no. We got to lessen, lessen this body weight, okay? Lessen the pressure on my lower body. Praise God. So yeah, I'll know. And so what I'm saying is when I walk past my mirror and I look at my legs as I walk and I see the definition in my thigh, God almighty, and my calves and my legs, I'm just like, yo, this pain and suffering is for is for worth it. Because, yo, leg day, the below, lower part of my body, I think this, this is for everybody. I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not a fitness person. I work out, but I don't understand a lot because lower body, oh my God, it hurts me terribly. It hurts me terribly. I can deal with my arm. Like right now, my chest is it hurts because I was doing upper body the other day. You know, I can tolerate that. You know, lower body. Oh, Jesus. 
It hurts so badly. It hurts so badly. So I love seeing my legs tone more because I want all that cellulite gone. I want less fat, more muscle, optimum toning. Obviously, I'm not trying to become a bodybuilder, but I want to be ripped and just fine as hell. I want to be sickening. Okay, that is the goal, baby. And with the way that my body is set up, you feel me? The way the Lord has blessed me, you know, the shape is never gonna go anywhere. It's never gonna go anywhere, okay? 20, 30 pounds down, we still, you feel what I'm saying? We ain't got no problems. Especially since I work out. I work out my lower body. So we've got muscle. So I'm not concerned about that, not one bit. Not one bit, you know, I wanna be toned just ooh, i'm just i'm just so excited so there's the update there 163.8 164 is how much your girl weighs oh uh, uh, uh. yeah oh and i'm 5'4 in case you care so i'm very very happy and it makes so much sense because i'll look at myself and be like yo i don't even recognize myself anymore the photo shoot yesterday yeah, yesterday i was looking at the pictures and i'm like who is that is that actually me like is this actually me and it is me wearing size smalls in certain things i mean i was tiny for a period in high school and that's all that well was i tiny in college too see but i you see you know how it is when you feel at that time you feel like oh i'm so big when you look back you're like y'all was mad tiny in college i felt like i was big but when i look back i was definitely tiny and in grad school i was bigger but looking back i was definitely tiny I was not the way that I was after having a baby, hello, you know? And getting older, stuff is different. It's not as easy to lose weight. But in high school, I remember having a flat stomach for certain times of my high school. So that must have been the time where I was 160s. I don't remember, I really don't. So that's crazy for me to be at my big age like this and to be 164. I'm just thrilled. So I wanted to share that because I know y'all been curious. I know y'all been, been seeing the messages I've been, I've been getting the messages like, girl, I see you, I see you, you know? And I see it too, and I don't even recognize myself. I'm trying to tell you something. I look in the mirror like, who is that looking at me? Like right now I'm looking, who, is, you know? When you, I don't know if, you, if you're like me, I'm talking so I don't see myself until I go in the mirror. Then when I go in the mirror, I'm like, oh my God, is that how I look? You know, I mean, you can look down and say, okay. But to see yourself in the mirror looking back at you, for me, is so different. And I'm like, oh my God, that's how I look. That's crazy. I'm in just as much shock as you are. And I'm excited and I think that you are too. So thank you for that. I just, wow. I never would have thought that this was even a thing. But people talking about it makes it real and normal. So that's why I discuss it. Because had people that I follow not talked about it, then I wouldn't have known that it was an option let alone thought that it would be safe for me. I haven't talked to anyone that has complained about any issues. Thankfully, I've never had an issue with it. So of course, do your due diligence, talk to your provider if you feel like doing something like this, which is taking some of time. I don't give a damn about what MI says, but if people take into your people ones, and if people feel like it's a it's a cheap way out or, or uh, what well, easy way out, I don't give a damn. Listen, I don't do things for anybody. <laughs> I don't do things for anybody. So I don't give what MI says, I'll do what I wanna do. And I will share it because it's important to share because why the hell not? Who's gonna beat me? What's the thing on TikTok what they say? I'm gonna say, cause I ain't scared and ain't, I ain't gonna get no whooping. I don't give a damn. That's why I share it. What? I'm so excited. Why would I why would I not share this? So that the girls can also get the experience. I guess yeah, so they, should, they can also get the plug if they want to get it. At this age, it's not just diet and exercise. Let's keep it a buck, okay? Please. A lot of people ain't saying anything, but I already discussed that in my other video. You know, people have their prerogative. If they don't want to say anything, it's not my force. I guess, yeah. It's not, not everyone's that forthcoming. Not everyone's gonna show you drain take it stripping their drains from a surgery. Not everyone's gonna show you not everyone's gonna show you their raw belly button off, out of a tummy tuck. Not everyone's gonna show you them getting a massage on the massage table not everyone's going to show you their raw stomach a day after getting a tummy tuck versus a month later or two three months later when it's all you know in the beginning it's all swollen and what have you not everyone's going to show you their scars you're not going to see people's scars you're not ever going to see them they're going to retouch them in the apps they have to be dead for you to see their scars and that's their prerogative you feel me for me i'm going to show it to you i'm going to show it to you like if we if we if i see you and i, I feel the vibes and i trust you enough girl we go in the bathroom and i'm going to just show you my whole body okay <laughs> because i'm a girl's girl you know and i don't give a damn because i know i look 
good you know so <laughs> it's just those are the things those are the things anyway i'm sleepy sitting here i keep clipping my hair back because it's in my face i need to go wash my makeup off this is the time of the night where i just wish i could snap my finger and then all of it was done <sighs> but it's not a possibility i wish it were was my skincare my skin would look great when I wasn't broken out but now it's looking great more often in the <laughs> and the breakouts are less often which is a great thing it just it just stood out to me and I was like oh my gosh thank you so much <laughs> uh, it really pleased my soul so I'm saying divorced twice and it's not because the what? women or the wives were what? good it was because hi <laughs> my phone dropped and now I'm what in the world? Okay, yeah. So that just really blessed my heart. And I'm like, oh, that is so sweet. So it made me really happy. I'm just so grateful. It's just the little things, yo. Just the little things. I need to do my nails. They're on their last leg, okay? But I need to go home and film. So I ain't trying to take them out right now. I don't have time for that. Oh, not the back lid. I don't have time for that right now. You feel what I'm saying? They need to hold on because I have things to do. Hi. somewhere usually is home <laughs> or for me it's the gym and when I park I pull out my phone and I start doing stuff I start attacking things I need to be attacked so I started doing that and next thing you know it was an hour later and I almost just went home which I've done before I'll go and do all these things next thing you know I'm like let me just go home I have so much to do at home and I just go home I hate that so I said to myself no I'm already here I'm freaking gonna go inside so I go inside and of course the area that I like to use to do my Sydney Cummins workout on YouTube is full and that's my fault because I waited too long so then I said you know I'm already here it'd be a waste for me to have walked up in here sat outside of my car all of this stuff so I just went on the treadmill and then I'm annoyed because what I really should have done was walk on the treadmill while doing my administrative tasks to at least give me some cardio right two for one instead of just sitting here in my car and doing all those things I could have the treadmill doing all those things and I could have still felt accomplished you feel me just irritating so in a way I wasted time but then in a way I still did what I needed to do it just it just delayed my whole situation it just annoyed me it just annoyed me so 
So that's why you didn't see my workout because, honey, there wasn't much to see. And then by the time I was on the treadmill, I was like, well, hell, let me continue finishing my administrative task. So not only was I, what, I was watching something, but then my device, I was just doing different things. I went to my email and started doing things that needed to be taken care of over there. And it's just like, oh, dear Lord. And now it's 1043, which to me is 11 o'clock. I always round. It's 11 o'clock and I'm like, God, I need to do this, this, did, 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 did. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for what I do. But I will say, just it's never ending. And I'm standing there and I'm thinking, oh, I still got to do this. I still got to do that. And I still haven't gone back to the tailor to have him do my jeans again. Because the idea of going there to do that when I have other things to do is like, what? And then my accountant sent me this email about this form I need to fill out for business owners. I forget the name of it, but it's due by January something, something. If you don't do it, there's a penalty or something, something. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I got to do that. You know, there's just so many things going, going, going back, back to Cali, Cali. Not literally, but you know what I mean. Ah, so it's just all of that, you know? It just, whoo, hi. Just a busy day. And it's a monday praise be praise the lord for being a business praise the lord for all the business owners we really give god the glory we really do you know i had my armpit injections what you call it uh-huh i almost said armpit lipo i'm annoyed armpit what botox yep i've seen a reduction in sweat but i haven't seen a complete zero cast out blackout of sweat and i wanted zero so i don't know i didn't even ask her how many cc's is that how it goes i don't even know i didn't even ask her how much she put in it it was free so i didn't say anything i just was like well free botox my armpits yes ma'am you know i don't even know how much it was but perhaps i need more you know because i want zero i've heard it can go down to zero and i want to go down to zero i don't want to sweat but then i was really thinking okay so if i don't sweat where's that sweat going is it getting trapped in my body and if it's trapped what's happening to my body you know is it a problem is it dangerous <laughs> i mean if it was dangerous well then again drugs are dangerous let me just say cigarettes are dangerous and they're sold all over the world you know what i'm saying so i was about to say if it's dangerous why is it being done well what the hell a lot of things that are dangerous that are just being you know sold to us dang i don't know what happens to the sweat do i care not really but i do want to know i do want to know if if getting more of the botox would give me a zero out like is it going to stop the sweat entirely that would be great i don't need armpit sweat just like i don't need a period you know there are certain birth control methods that don't give me a period and i like that i don't need a period i still feel my cramping from ovulation and that's okay i still know that the, the system is working i don't need to have my menstruate well it is part of the menstruation still i still ovulate i don't need to see the period for me to know that i'm still a woman you feel me i'm just saying Yo, <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me, good morning. Look, I need to even do my nails, imagine. I don't feel well at all. I don't know what I'm coming down with. Got a cold of some sort and I wanted to film today, but I just can't. I feel, you know, all the inflammation in my head or whatever it is, I just don't feel up to it at all. I took my cat, what's it called? The satin lined, is it a bonnet? Whatever it is, the bag that I put on my head. I actually really like it. I took that off just for a change of scenery for today because I kept it on all day yesterday. So I took that off and then I changed my clothes. I'm wearing this set that LTK just recently sent me. This was from the LTK Con and it's warm on the inside. I just want to be warm at home. My cleaning company comes in an hour and I was thinking, should I work out? Should I do my makeup? Should I film? What should I do? And I have all my stuff set up, but I just can't do it. I'll, I'll be forcing it and I need to pay, pay more attention to my body because I'm really tired and sick. I took emergency and I'm actually about to take Alka-Seltzer Cold Plus because I need more. Though emergency helps because you boost your immune system. And it helps with overcoming a sickness. I just need some more. So I'm about to go do that. Oh, I made my, oh shoot. I made my, I frothed my milk and then I walked away and I forgot that I frothed my milk. So I need to start off with that. Let me start up making my vanilla chai latte. Then I'll move on to my emergency. And I'm just gonna sit down. I gotta catch up on the Love is Blind reunion. I'm sick of these people. And I'm also seeing what's going on with Young Thug trial. It's just too much. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I don't feel well, but I'm excited to get my house cleaned. It's clean. Like you're probably gonna look and think like, okay, what's the issue? It's clean, but it's gonna be deep clean. You feel what I'm saying? All the stuff that I'm just not gonna do. Praise the Lord. I am still so sick. I can't even stand it. I had to plug my nose cause I'm doing my nails and 
my nose was dripping because I'm looking down. Who has time for that? All right, I'm doing these new nails that I got from BTR Box. I don't know how these are gonna do. They look very pretty off rip and I'm recording it for short form. My, my battery died. This is annoying. I'm sick, so I sound like this. I'm so annoyed because I used the gel glue the solid gel glue to apply it and it's different from regular gel glue and then I use the nail cure the LED lamp that cures one figure at a time so it takes a lot longer to cure one figure I can't talk like this I cannot talk like this I can't even listen to myself like this hold on I can't do it all right I had to take those out that was so obnoxious I still sound crazy but so yeah I use the solid gel glue and it just doesn't feel very secure when I go like this I feel like it's gonna come off we gonna have to find out and see these are also nails that I'm not accustomed to at all square long I don't ever do this I've never done this I know that it's trendy now it is not my thing I prefer stiletto because it makes my nails look nice and skinny these no but i'm giving them a try because i love the brown tip i think it's so freaking cute i wish the base was more of a brown and not this beige color but you know it just is what it is but i wish it was more brown because the ones that i like to use my, my everyday stiletto ones are they have a brown like a tannish a tan tip tan base excuse me so the nail part the nail bed is not this light color i'm gonna link some press on nails that i think you might like because btr box has some new ones they got different colors so they have this shape right here where it is red or orange or a lighter brown this one's crooked i'm so annoyed but yeah this is the whole set oh let me show my video i gotta i gotta close that oh my battery died okay so yeah i just had to finish up and do my nails like let me not break a nail being all rough that's one thing i'm good for is being rough what i'm trying to zip up my whole situation this is what i keep my well a lot of my nail stuff and i have a lot of nail stuff i have drawers full of things but i moved it to be right here next to me because i do my nails so much that going into the closet was just too much of a chore so it was right up in here and then uh, like i said i'll link below some of those suggestions and then all the stuff that i use for my nails i'll link below as well anyway i need to get out of here ah, i cannot wait to do my hair again i like this hairstyle okay but i also like a switch up you feel me so i'm itching for something new it's so strange with this thing over my head like this let me move it this is my tripod my tripod and my 90d camera that i was using to film this reel and i do have a link to all the technology that i use below i'll link it in the description in case you're curious i do have several different cameras and then when i have the tripod with the camera overhead that way it'll fall over so you have to have a bean bag like this i'll link this too in case you're like how do you get the camera to stay that's how the bean bag well it's actually rice i put the rice inside my scalp is itchy <laughs> Y'all be walking around with a freaking, I feel like I just put my hair in a plain tail. I'm so annoyed. A rat tail comb to scratch your hair. I'll be doing that. I, how do I, I can't do a ponytail, can I? Because I have no leave out on my sides, but I don't want the hair in my face anymore. I just want to breathe. I didn't do makeup on my sides. So this is not the time for you to come and see that kind of thing. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I got here.
on it. Oh, what is, oh my God, what is this? This must be some kind of oil, chapstick, something. I'm annoyed, hi. First of all, ooh, hold on. Let's, let's go through it. This is the drawstring of this satin lined bonnet that I have from Amazon, excuse me. I love it by the way. And normally I have this part toward the back so that it's just not in front of my face like that. But if you're wondering what that is, this is what this is. It's the, not drawstring, the bra strap. And I think that this is some kind of oil. Uh -huh. Hi. Anyhow, good morning. I woke up. I can't believe today's daylight savings. That just killed me. So it's actually eight, but it's it's actually seven, but it feels like eight. Well, it's actually eight, but it's seven. You know what I'm saying? There's the fallback. Yeah, we're doing the fallback. Anyhow, I did my devotion and reading today, and I put together that tray. What do you call it? Oh, anyway, with the napkins. I am always about creating a vibe at home. So when I saw that, I was like, let me do that. That's really cute. I was going to do a grill, a acrylic, an acrylic tray. <clears throat> but what I don't like about the acrylic trays in general is that they show marks and dust and all that stuff. Whereas that stone is not going to show that. And it really just elevates the whole thing. So I put that in the bathroom. That's so cute. Oh, yesterday, my Forever Mood Candle Club situation did come in. If you don't know, I've been having the Forever Mood Candle Club for a very long time. And it's on auto pad. I think it's four times a year. Every quarter, they send something. So these are the two candles that were sent yesterday, but that I got yesterday. And it's a collaboration with LYS Beauty, which is so cool. LYS is Love Yourself Beauty. And the owner is a black woman. She's work at MAC. Hey, MAC. MAC girls understand. So they did this co collaboration about food, right? Because they gave us, if you're in the candle club, come in, let me know. They gave us a cake cutter spatula. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. I like this. It's a cutter. And then I pick up, pick her upper, a spatula, praise the Lord. And then we got a mitt, which I need because you know how there's certain things that are just not a priority and other mitts are not a priority for me. So you should just see what I have. It's very old. It's just one. I only have one. So this is nice. Now the one I have is black and this is a tan white situation. It's just going to be given color combo, but that is okay. And this is really cute forever mood. Thank you very much. And we got two candles. I changed the candle that was in my candle woman. I had this candle from Forever Mood Holly Berry in there for a year. Can you imagine? And it hasn't gone down very much. The candle warmers do take their time with burning the candles, but I wanted something different, so I changed it. So I'm actually burning this one, and I put a ginger, what did, what did I put? Sugar, ginger, something candle in there. All right, ooh, this one is called Cone Appetite. Okay, I love the light color of this. This is cute. I've never seen this color in the candles. Ooh. Yeah, like an ice cream cone dessert. Ooh, nice. It does smell like dessert. Okay, it goes with the theme. And you know, her names are always just so good. Always just, just so good. I don't know how they always do it. Set the Oud. Oh my God, I love that. Set, set, set the Mood is called Set the Oud. I love Oud. Oh my gosh. I know I'm going to love this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. Where can I get more of this? Oh my gosh, this is so good. It's called Set the oud wow and and from my understanding you can't buy these either in the candle club or you're not what oh my goodness this reminds me of oh what is it mfk oud satin mood which i do have oh i haven't worn that fragrance in ages that reminds me i need to first of all my scalp is itchy i cannot wait to do my hair tomorrow what my scalp i need to wash i need to hydrate i need all this stuff Wow, this reminds me of Oud Satin Mood by MFK. This is so good. Whoa. See, and then when I really, really love the candle, I be trying to wait forever to burn it. Yep, there's blackberry in here, Turkish rose and Oud. I forgot that she tells us the notes. And then in Cone Appetite, it's saffron flower, brown sugar, and vanilla bean. Yes, I can smell the blackberry. Ooh, Tur I love Turkish rose. I'm learning and learning more and more what notes I love. And I love Turkish rose. I love oud. Love, love, love oud. And blackberry. Yo, this is my favorite. If you have the candle club, you gotta let me know. Can you buy these? No, not from my understanding. Dang, these are good. Oh, I'm so excited. I love it, love it, love it. Look at me, love, love, love. Love that. Members only. Mm. Okay, praise the Lord. So yeah, I redid my nails. I recorded the other nails and then I redid it to these. So here's what happened. I did these brown tips. These are still the BT Art Box Fall, excuse me, the press-ons, right? I did the brown ones that were square. I don't like square. I'm so used to a, a stiletto. This is coffin. I'm used to a stiletto. So when I was typing and even just 
pressing on my phone, the touch screen, I couldn't press because I had a square nail. It was just big and I don't like, I, first of all, I don't like how it looks. I like for my nails to look long and they did not help my nails look long. My hands look long. They did not help. And then the square, the shape was just taking me out, okay? But I did it, I give it a try and I know I don't like it. I recorded it already. I took them off and then the same brown tip from BT Art, I did the brown tip. Now, I don't know what's going on with stiletto. They only have stiletto in the white French, which, okay, what does that mean? Is it just not selling in other colors? I want stiletto, I love stiletto nails. So I was looking on YouTube at nail videos and I found this kit of clear stiletto nails. So I'm gonna give that a try at some point because I'm gonna paint them myself, the whole thing, not just a clear top coat and base coat, but I'm gonna paint a color. I'm not gonna do French because that's just too much work. I'm gonna just do one coat and see if I can get a nice nude long stiletto. They're medium, but they look long. A good medium stiletto nail going on because this is definitely small this is actually too short i was in bed like how can i live like this i'm so used to my nails being long that now i'm like this is just too short i did them anyway last night because i wanted to try these and move on in the kit of these and the square ones in case you like it i'll, I'll link it below in the kit you have brown tip orange tip red tip and a burgundy tip which i think are so pretty so i wanted to try because the colors but this for instance is too short and i will say that i wish they had options where the base was a little more brown because this is too tan not, not tan but it's too beige for me anyway i did them i'm gonna see how long these will, are gonna last me or how i feel with them because i might get fed up because i feel like they're too short <laughs> Now I feel like I have nubs. Remember that? I used to want my nails to be as short as possible. And now these are too short for me, which is just so crazy. But I made sure to cap, you have to cap, and I forget sometimes when I'm in a rush. You have to cap the nails. When you're putting the base in the top, you gotta go around the sides, around the tip to cap it. You feel what I'm saying? Lesson I always learned when I don't do that. And then the gel starts to peel, starts looking dumb. And then I just take it off because one thing I'm not gonna do is suffer with some ugly looking nails. I'm just not. And that's why I love doing my nails myself because if they start looking crazy, I'm gonna just take them off and do something different. All right, praise be. Yeah, let's start the day. I need to work out and also get ready, curl my hair correctly. Sometimes, there was one time the other day I, I didn't curl my hair correctly and I hated how it looked. It was just too straight and then curly, whereas the curl needs to start higher. It just looks, I just hated how it looked. I was like, wait, why am I doing this? I was in a rush, that's why. I've been doing this. Yo, I've been doing this and why? Just mad itchy. I cannot wait to wash my hair. Tomorrow. <laughs> okay, this was wicked quick. My Bath and Body Works order just came in and I ordered this stuff, what, yesterday? If not, what's the... I ordered like two days ago. So the candle sales going on. The candles are $11, $10.95. You know, I round up. So $11 and I bought a whole bunch. Let's go through what I got because this is some good stuff. And Bath and Body Works is now on LTK. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Oh, I should have brought a, I need something because I don't want to break my nail. I'm rolling with dice right now. I'm rolling with dice. Let's see what we got. Now I got a bunch of duplicates. I'm not sure about you. Do you get one of every scent or are you getting several of the same scent? I ain't trying to get several of the same ones though I haven't smelled them. I'm just taking a risk and hoping that it's going to be Okay, this is sugared snickerdoodle. It looks like it's gonna be good. Warm spice, creamy vanilla, and sugared musk. Ooh, musk. Ooh, it's soft. Softer than I would have ever imagined. This is lovely. I think that I got a few of those. I was just shooting my shot because I just, I mean, look at the scent and I just took a guess. It's gonna smell like cookies. We're cool with that. You feel what I'm saying? Hold on. I gotta get my trusty handy dandy box cutter because how? Why am I gonna suffer and be risking my nails for what? It's not by force. Oh, yes, yeah, this is, oh, this is the same holiday. Now, again, I just imagined that this would smell good. I have no idea what to expect. Okay, okay, it's very cinnamony, very. Spicy, oh, I hope I didn't get many of these. I don't know if I did or not. It's very cinnamon, and that's not my thing. Ugh. I just, again, because it said holiday, I'm like, okay, let's go ahead and get holiday, but I'm not thrilled with all of the cinnamon. So this box has six candles in it. Let's see what else we got. Oh, I need to use this to put the empty inside you feel me let's see what this one is you know how bath and body works gives you a refund if they're if you don't like the candle or if it's broken i've gotten broken candles in, in the past i just don't like going to stores so for me if it's broken i one time i took the candle out and then put it into another one okay this is the perfect christmas okay fresh cut pine cinnamon sugar oh toasted marshmallow i'm gonna love this one. Oh yes oh the pine mixed with the marshmallow mm, i want to get more of this and the sales is still going on 
Are they gonna still have this? I don't know. The perfect Christmas. Ooh, now that one I like. Oh, please tell me that I got more than one. I have no idea. If you bought any candles during the sale, comment, let me know. And if you did, which ones do you like and love? Cause I'm always open to get new ones. I, I be shooting, okay, good. I got another one, so that's good. Two perfect Christmases, I just be guessing. And then of course I'll get my usuals, you feel me? Like, well, what's it called? I almost said by the fireplace. No, 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 it's something marshmallow. And we know Mahogany Teakwood, although I have ventured off of Mahogany Teakwood because I needed something new, you feel me? It was given, we always do the same thing, you know? And if you're wondering, I wiped off my hair line because I'm gonna wash my face but I haven't done it yet so if you see makeup missing that's why I'm in the process of breaking it all down for the evening okay what's this Ooh, cinnamon sugared pecans yes very sweet very cinnamon very sugar this is very good <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I mean, that is exactly what it smells like. And right now I'm burning s'mores and it smells so good, like cookies, just sweet deliciousness. And I never used to like that kind of gourmand scent at home, but the more and more I get into fragrances, the more I, my palate just opens up and I want new things, okay? This is a holiday again, it is not, I'm not thrilled. Just the plain old cinnamon doesn't really float my boat or find my lost remote and I'm stuck with it. You feel me? Look at this. This box is full. This box is full, son. Oh my gosh. Yo, I didn't even count. I don't even know where to put all these. I didn't even count. How many candles did I get? Yo, how many candles did you buy? That's six already. And right now we got what? Four. So we got 10. Oh my gosh. How are we gonna make it through all this? We got 13. What? 14. I'm just trying to make space so I can put them in this box when I'm done. 15, 16, 17, 18. What? Did I miscount? That was 18, 19, 20. Okay, I got 21 candles. 21 candles. Can you imagine? Wow. First of all, I'm not gonna put all these. That's the question. All right, let's see what we got right here. Because, yo, I'd be so excited. I'd be like, let me take this one candle and burn it right now out and then go put a new one in. That's not annoying. Like finish the fruit you have. Okay, yes, marshmallow fireside. I had to rip on this. Oh, it's just so good. Milky, creamy, like a coffee, you know? Not not coffee per se, but the creaminess of a coffee is what this is reminding me of. Just the cream and sugar. Yeah, just think cream sugar. That's what I mean when I say coffee, not coffee beans per se. That's a whole different vibe you feel what i'm saying Ooh, twisted peppermint i've gotten this in the years past oh it's very cold like it just opens up your nostrils love this twisted peppermint i know i've got a few of those so let's see where they at where they at this came in very quickly by the way i thought about going to the store but like i said i don't like going to the stores so i'm like let me order online i'm not in a rush i already have a bunch of candles that i have not burned yet and they came quickly gingerbread bakery Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's almost powdery. Mmm, almost powdery. Nice, soft. There's a softness of that one. Wow, gingerbread bakery. They be packaging these candles differently. Some of them I gotta do this to open up, and others that them. It's a quick, you know, little one, two, one, two. Let's see, I'm not gonna break a nail, honey. What we got? Yo, I love candles. I will hoard over. I'm not hoard because I'm gonna burn them. I love fragrance, hello, so why not? And these are cheap, they burn quickly, yes, I get that. But you gotta mix in the high and the low, hello? Marshmallow fireside, yes, oh, mmm, cream and sugar, cream and sugar, you know? Gotta get that. And here's another one, it looks like marshmallow fireside, just from peeking on the inside. Look at me, I'm rhyming and stuff. Tell me if you like this. I used to literally only buy candles that looked a certain way on the outside. The wrapping needed to match my aesthetic at home. I was not getting it if it didn't match. And that made me miss out on so many great candles because the colors were crazy. Like not just the packaging, the actual candle was blue or green or whatever, but then the packaging was all kind of colors. So I wasn't getting it. And then I saw this one creator's, ooh, this is Mary Cookie, ooh. Ooh, mmm, butter cookie. Butter cookie, this is good. It's called Merry Cookie. So this one creator was like, you know you can just take off the packaging? And I was like, hold on. Once I saw that, now I get whatever I want. Granted, I don't be trying to get the green candles where the wax is green or the wax is blue because that's gonna throw off what I'm doing still, you feel me? But when the packaging is like this, you know, I, don't, I mean, go, though it is great, I don't want it. I don't want this. So what I do is this, simply. Take a knife or a scissor go across it it's gonna look like nothing but it's gonna come right off let's do it again i didn't do it hard enough make sure you get in there you're just tearing it and then you rip it right off 
good girl girl you got you a nice white candle okay and got all of that packaging on there if the packaging is all kind of colors you feel me so when i learned that i said oh say less now i'm gonna get what i want why is this retaped hold on is this has this been returned why is it retaped this is not the natural taping because they don't even use tape they use glue oh yeah we took it off the took it off the floor i almost said the field he took it off the floor and then put it in a package. This is marshmallow fireside again. I know this scent. And I, oh, I didn't realize that the Mary, oh, the gingerbread bakery one has such a cute, fun top. I got a bunch of marshmallow firesides because I know that I love that scent. Dang, did I get more of the, what's the one? Is it Perfect Christmas? What was the one that I said that I liked? Oh, oh no. Is that the, the cinnamon one that I like? No, I don't remember. Oh, Mary Cookie again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, ooh. Oh, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a, an overflow storage unit for, ooh, peppermint bark, yes. Love a good mint. I didn't see the chocolatey minty one. I don't remember the name of it. It's a chocolatey minty scent. I know that, peppermint bark. Ooh, minty, almost like a cookie. Hmm, very refreshing. And see, although this is pink, I'm not a fan of this pink and green, so I'm gonna take this off whenever I do burn it. You feel what I'm saying? Just take it off, because that's just what I like to do. It, it needs to match, it needs to match what I got going on, okay? And that's important to me. All right, here we got Twisted Peppermint. Now this is one that I know from last year. Love this one, it's a little different. Yes, this is very menthol, very opening up your airways, very much like a candy cane, yes. That is candy cane, fo sheezy, maneezy, okay? Fo sheezy, maneezy, like legit, okay? Frosted cranberry, ooh. Oh my goodness, this is so good. I haven't had a cranberry scented anything in a very long time. Ooh, this is so good. It smells very simple. It's very straightforward cranberry. Ooh, I like that a whole lot. Dang, I didn't get more than one. I know I didn't because I have never smelled it, so I wasn't sure. Ooh, now I know. Ooh, twisted peppermint again. Let's get a good reminder. Ooh, it just opens up the nostrils. You feel me? Oh my gosh. It's candle day. It's candle day. It's candle day. It's candle night. It's candle season. It's candle everything, yo. And I'm sure they had other stuff on sale. I didn't go in. I just ordered online. And I was mainly focused on the candles, but because I already re-upped. I re-upped on candles like two weeks ago. Three weeks ago. I, didn't, I forgot about the candles. Ooh, frosted cream here again. Oh, I love this so much. I forgot. I needed to remember that. Right? December? No. The first of November. And I think it's the first of January. Isn't that when they be having the sales? I should have known. I forgot. I re-upped that time and I got maybe 10 candles and I got 21. So we go for a long time. But I could use, do I need plugins? No, I already have plugin refills. I got that the last time that I shot the bath and lighters. And I don't be getting anything else. Though I, want to, though I do want to try their in, not in shower, laundry. Mm -hmm. The laundry scent boosters, they have those. And another frosted cranberry. Awesome. Now where am I gonna put all this? We gotta figure it out. 